Not so Freudian here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Dailies. Just in time for rollover. We are Isaac today. Alright, to Shoal. Why not? Please, I, I need that hand. Dang it. Okay. I was able to keep my finger down, so I was at least running away from the enemies. Okay, there is R two batteries. So basically I will be re rolling the boss item if it's not something I'm excited for. I just figured that a lot of the time Magneto actually works like pseudo flying. Because it, it lets you get a lot of consumables that you wouldn't otherwise be able to. And please stop nudging my hand. I need that hand. Yeah, don't look at me like that. Sorry, Lloyd Vig is on the computer desk and wants attention. <sighs> I'm like, if it's a range upgrade. Or, you know, health upgrade without another, uh, stat involved. Come on, I need that hand. Okay, I'll pet you for a second. Okay, Crackjacks gives health and a trinket. That's probably still not good enough, and I need to get my hand back to the keyboard. Come on, stop with the... Don't bite me! Look. <sighs> okay, Mr. Dolly's probably pretty good. I think it has a decent... Uh, I didn't mean to grab that yet. No, don't. That's... Okay, I need that headphone cord. Dang it, Ludwig. Yeah, and that's... Like, that curse room right there is the reason why I didn't want to take the demon heart yet. What are you... What are you... Oh, there's a rubber band there. Okay, that's not my headphone cord. So now I just hope he doesn't choke to death on it. There's a reasonable chance there's maybe a... tinted rock in this room. Oh, son of a crap. <sighs> Alright, he somehow hit... The F key. Okay, I'm worried you're gonna hit spacebar and ruin the charge I have on the D6. Whatever, I guess losing that half demon heart doesn't matter because I was gonna lose it going into here anyway. So I should have just let myself get hit again to speed that up quite a bit. Oh. There we go. That works out pretty well. <sighs> Alright. Two places the secret room could... Oh, come on. Please don't lie down on my mouse. <sighs> yeah, he laid down on the mouse and, you know, clicked the button. I will put the bomb here, see if not it is not a super secret room. I'll take this. Was that HP in range? Is that what it said? No, it's definitely a tears up. Okay, hallelujah. Yeah, it's definitely a tears up. Okay. Sorry, I am just really distracted. Hopefully it doesn't get me killed. Or, you know, picking up soy milk or something when I have a reroll charge. And I'll take soy milk occasionally, but it's usually if it's if there's something interesting to go along with it. Oh, 
Coley Light Soybean could be pretty cool, I think. So I don't think the Holy Light um, ch changes damage depending on your damage. And it would put a lot more shots. And I mean, soy milk, uh, Ipecac is hilarious. Okay, there's another charge. Now I just need a key so I can get to the freaking item room. But I guess if there's a decent place, the secret room could be... Oh, I actually dodged that one. I don't know why I have such trouble dodging their shots. I'm amazed I got out of there before that spider hit me. Alright, that is bullshit. I'm hoping one of these is telepills. I don't remember what the telepills looked like. Take milk and use telepills. Telepill. <sighs> Alright, the luck down was awful. The speed down I can deal with. Please don't go after the mouse cord. Okay, I thought he did something for a second, but I had actually just forgotten that uh, there was a retrovision pill. I wonder if luck influences what you get out of tinted rocks, or the rate at which you get tinted rocks, now that I'm thinking about it. Never considered that before, I don't think. Okay. Well, it's a heart. It's a shame there wasn't enough money on the last floor to get uh, an arcade. I can't believe I let myself get it there. It's also a shame that the rainbow poop does nothing. Basically, I'm going to keep exploring and hope there's enough rooms left. There are not. Ah, then I got hit again for another battery. I may as well fight the boss, see if, like, because the scissors is an active item. So, almost any... Um, I, I guess I'll take the thing, because the odds of fighting Krampus are really low now that I think about it. I was thinking, oh, I'll just get a charge from Krampus and the other thing, but, you know, whatever. Or the boss and then Krampus. But then I actually thought about the odds of fighting Krampus and realized it's not going to happen. I guess I have enough of a chance to go to, well, like, if I had another key, I would go to the shop. I've got the tears up now. Yep. I just... I don't know why I have such trouble with Little Horn's hitbox. Speed is something. Why wouldn't I just take all three of these? I mean... Yeah, because I'll pick this up. Alright, that was actually stupid. Use it. Okay. I can go to the shop. Then I... Yeah, I just do this. We roll that. It's great. Leave. Grab the wooden spoon, because if I wind up buying a charge for the D6 in here... Yeah, I'm not going to buy the trinkets. Er, no, that's Box of Friends, right? Yeah. If there was a battery in there, I would have just um, bought...
bought it to re-roll the scissors, but, you know. Okay. So, a not insignificant... Ah, waste of a... several cents, but hopefully I'll get more money out of the... this. Uh, double card's useful. Okay. Alright. That... I still don't know what the... I guess differences between the um is difference the right word? I'm also going way too slow for boss rush. Yeah, the difference between a luck up penny and a luck down pill. There is also that trap room there, and I should not have opened that. I'm an idiot. I keep forgetting I don't have any keys for anything. Ooh, dodged that. Right, Pentagram does give a better Devil Room chance. Oh, I got my key back. And I didn't lose any. Oh yeah, I can fly. So I guess Magneto was re-rollable, but then I wouldn't have been able to re-roll, um into Mr. Dolly for the more significant amount of damage. <sighs> Holy cow, I'm terrible at this game. Right, at least I'm one-shotting the flies. And I'm getting soul hearts basically for free. I like Dry Baby. I hate having two of these things, because it's always the one furthest away from you that pops up, forcing you to circle around the one that hasn't popped up yet in order to shoot it. Alright, definitely checking. Alright. Not going to take speed down, but there is a chance. Uh, what's his bucket is there? Uh, not what's his bucket, but, um, the, uh, what's going on, Lloyd Vic? PhD is in here, is what I was going to say. But Mom's key is actually really, really good right this instant. May as well take that. Buy that, because I think I'm going to need it. It's probably the super secret room to the left there. Because odds are the boss fight is at the end of the skinny room here. It is not. Oops. However, I could still be right if it's at the other end of the other skinny room here. And I was just wrong about the distance. Yeah. I hate how those things do a full heart of damage. I think I get to choose, like I can choose to get the uh, thingy, right, the Polaroid, because I'm just going to shoal, not all the way down, so you still get to just choose one or the other. I do wish there was a benefit to taking the negative, other than, oh yeah, son of a crap, you get hit, you can, um, alright. I need to stop getting hit. Like, it does a little bit of damage to the enemies around. I'm fairly certain it just, like it just does less than a demon heart does when it goes away. That's hopeful, because now I can survive taking a deal. And I can re-roll uh, Head of Krampus. Son of a crap. Okay, thank you, Dry Baby. Baby did damage. Head of Krampus becomes Guppy's tail. Which, combined with Mom's key, is amazing. I don't... 
I'm going to be too late for boss rush anyway, so I may as well go see what's in that gold chest. I'll probably buy this, because with mom's key I should be getting enough other stuff out of it. Or enough extra money. May as well go here, maybe I'll have a demon heart. Lots of those hearts. And really use more damage. Or tears. So, I mean, Mr. Dolly is a little bit of tears up, I think. But it simply doesn't um, do enough for the toughness of the enemies, I guess is how I would put it. That I'm fighting. And the pentagram's good, but it can't carry my damage stat all on its own. Yeah, I wish the rainbow poop was like the bed in the in Isaac's room. How if you have no soul hearts you can sleep in it and get a ton of soul heart or three or if you have no heart containers? You can sleep in it and get three soul hearts. 404 gives a random drink in every room. He... Okay, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. That was just bad. Like, if I actually have to survive off of my nine lives, I'm going to be kind of annoyed. the secret room is right here. Yes. Kill him before I go. That would be really annoying. Well, that was a waste. Okay, then I just don't quite make it out the hole. Kamikaze is not worth taking. Deck of cards gives me... F okay, I basically picked up half of a boom. That's the... 10 bomb one, right? Like the item that just gives you 10 bombs? It's just called Boom, right? It's the one that gives you like 25 or something. Alright, that gave me a decent amount of loot. so paranoid they're just going to leap straight at you into the tiers you've already fired and blow up in such a way to just mess up your whole day. That one just walked into the fire, didn't it? That's usually something I do. Alright. Getting some luck upgrades. These guys are annoying. Definitely going to the shop with 16... Does he trigger off of things other than sweet? Oh, that's actually kind of annoying. Black Candle is great, though. It's probably worth it. I just need to make sure I go and get a... Uh, a heart, I can trade a heart. <sighs> that was actually kind of nice. Alright, caffeine pill is speed up, right? Did 
That, I mean, seriously, I, that didn't kill it. I was still two shots short. Holy crap. But yeah, speed up. Yes. Size down is good for dodging. Not amazing. I think I'd buy a battery if there is one. Yeah, I'll take that too, just because... I don't want to walk all the way back to the item room, so I'll just see if the devil room's still open. It is not. So I take my fully charged D6 down. Really there, the best thing I got was the black candle, probably. Right, two of these. Steven is damage up. Infamy is luck-based. And I've had enough upgrades, it should work out pretty well. Or at least, like, reasonably. And if it saves me, say, two hits... Although I could have rerolled Guppy's head. Duh. Yeah, that was just terrible dodging, like, you know, every other dodge I've done this run. Yeah, I forgot that Guppy's head comes out of uh, gold chests. Which, like, if I can become Guppy, there's a pretty good chance I can fight Hush. Even though I'm way too late to make it to... Um, what's his bucket? Actually, that's good, because... No, it's not, because I want Cuppy's head. Like, it stops me from getting active items in the item room, but... I don't think that's worth it. So, drop it before I open this. Okay. Um, I hope that's right. It is. Okay, another gold chest. And a playing card. May as well take it, because I don't have anything else. That wasted one bomb, but whatever. Alright. Double deal. 100% taking the pact, even though it's not guppy. Does give me Leviathan, so I basically traded one heart container for four uh, temporary hearts. Okay. Infinite bombs for the floor. Got a nickel. I could already fly. So that part of Leviathan was a bit of a waste. What else do you get from Leviathan? Is it just flight plus the two um, demon hearts? Or do you get something else to go along with it? Okay. Nice catch, dry baby. Jeez. I hate how the spiders for these guys just fly off so far away. There's basically nowhere in the room that's safe once you hit them. You just gotta, like, Try and watch where they're going in the dodge. Bomb and more money. 100% a reroll. Shielded Tears is pretty good. Yes, they're... The only thing I would need now... Okay, I thought he would be dead before he hit me. I guess my damage is still pretty terrible. But yeah, I just need piercing shots so that my shots break the enemy tears without, um, getting broken themselves. I guess I can just check everywhere for the secret room, super secret room, blow up all the fires for soul hearts, and then just completely screw that up horribly. Whatever. Greed. I'm fine with greed. Sweet, everything's free. And I'm out of keys. Got 
two soul hearts out of that. Didn't even cost me any bombs. Okay. I have a full charge plus two batteries lying around. Alright, I will get a key out of both of those, I think. Because it's not hard mode. Yes. Sweet. One. I'll take that. I don't think I have any actual evil ups. Actually, is Black Candle an evil up? It'd be nice if the next store had restock. And any other item, basically. Because then I... I don't think I'm going to make it to Hush, either. Dang it. Because the next floor is probably just going to be, um... Uh... Super Greed. Alright, I've already been to the Devil Room on this floor. So I'm hoping I don't actually get one. I think I can get Sagittarius from a boss, can I? What was in the item room? It was Shield of Tears. And holy crap, I just walked. Right. Okay. Stop that. You're supposed to charge in a straight line, not jink with me. Oh, my tears must be knocking it into alignment with where I'm going. Oh, come fucking on. And also, charge the entire direction the way you're going. Don't turn around a 180 fast enough to catch me. Holy crap on a crutch. Okay. Blue cap is better than just a tears upgrade. and I should have gone back for the charge. Germany Christmas, that was awful. Alright, so we only paid half a heart to come in here. Okay. Just die. Okay. I have, like, 40-some bombs, so I will just blow everything up looking for hearts. You know, soul hearts, specifically. <sighs> okay, when milk triggers, it actually gives me a huge tears up, apparently. Uh, neutral flies can kind of be left behind for later. Room to me. It is. Alleluia. Super Greed isn't in the shop. But yeah, like if I get lucky enough that it's restock and any other item in the shop. Alright, thought I could sneak through there. I basically get every shop item for free. And there's Guppy. Find an Emperor card. 
So unfortunately, it's another run where I'm just a little bit too slow to make it work, even though I get something amazing right near the end. I guess that's how you do it, you just gotta dash through the entire run until you get, um, made, basically. And then use the amazing stuff you get to do the optional stuff for a better score. I don't want either of those either. And then there's a battery there. But yeah, basically I'm hoping for restock in another item. So even if there's one item I kind of want, I'm not going to grab it unless it's, you know, something I really want. Okay, yeah, I have mine. There we go. Yeah, because, I mean, they could drop another um, battery, but the odds are fairly low. Although, if they... If another battery does get dropped, I could. Like, and then I rerolled into restock, it would have eventually come around to give me hive mind again. So, you know, I just took the most likely chance. Yeah, and it wound up being exactly. That's what I was talking about. Okay, double room. Guppy's hairball. I may as well take it because I've got the Polaroid. There was a tinted rock I missed right there. That one. And I could get an Emperor card in this room and then an Emperor card in the first room on the next floor, but the odds are astronomically low. It's not telepills. Telepills could theoretically get me at least closer to the boss. Sure, why not? Sweet, got a couple of keys out of that. Got a couple of keys out of that. And I'm assuming luck still influ- like, does it influence how much you get out of each chest? I thought there was a tinted rock down there, but there wasn't. Alright, definitely re-rolling this. Because I can already fly. Sweet. Damage up. That's my shadow. Not worth it. Succubus is. And Abaddon because it gives me six hearts back. I'm not going to go five more rooms. Sorry. The scarred wound is so horrifying. Actually, do they patch it so there's fewer staples holding it together? That actually helps quite a bit. I mean, it's still horrifying, but, like, I seem to remember there being a lot more staples. Oh, man. Let's see what's in there. Joker. Okay. So, that's for next floor. Because I'm getting a devil deal this floor. Thankfully, the flies are smart enough not to go after these guys when they're invincible. So you just kind of got to be hovering and... Son of a crap! I did it again. And I th thought there was a tinted... There is a tinted rock there. I knew I saw it just out of the corner of my eye. I just couldn't remember where. was just question mark, question mark, question mark. Actually, if he gives me HP... Oh, you got... Gah! I hate those poops. Are you saying you want to get blown up? 
I mean, he gives me infinity plus one bombs. It's like he's asking for it. Mystery sack? Okay, I don't really want either of those. The soul is amazing, though. Alright, so this is the wrong way. If I get another charge, I might go back and re-roll the flush. Not the flush, just flush. Um, but odds are I'm going to save it for the devil deal. What hit me? I'm not, I have no idea what even hit me there. Worth a shot? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if there's anything I want to reroll in the devil room. Yeah, the flies aren't smart enough to avoid hitting those guys in the face, though. All right, that's kind of annoying. My tear, like that's why I wanted piercing tears. Um. Okay, Incubus is amazing. Guess I'll reroll betrayal. Uh. I'm already going to shoal, so that doesn't help. Go down, fight six rooms, or five rooms, because I have triple A battery. Then Joker. Yeah, but since I've got double the tiers in the air, and half of them are a little less dependent on my aiming, it's quite nice. Like, my aiming can help, and of course I find the boss after five. That's kind of funny, actually. But yeah, I'm going to fight one more room, and then, um, Joker. Take that. Take that. Take it with me because I can turn. Like, if I die and come back, I'm not expecting to die. Because I should just be able to kill him quick. I'll be able to turn it into three heart containers and, um. Like, I'll be able to turn my one heart container into three soul hearts and have a bunch of chances with three soul hearts. Oh, yeah, I'm basically immune to his shooting. And then the feet should just die as soon as they, they hit because of all the flies. Yeah. There we go. Uh, tenth place. Yeah, because I didn't go to um, Boss Rush and Hush. That would have added some time. But hey, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you would. I will see you guys tomorrow.